So we're here outside the vine. It was very busy outside the Hawthorne. So I'm here with Jeff and Tom. As you can see, Cherries lost 2 0 to West Brom. Two early goals for the Baggies. And Bournemouth didn't really recover. 17 shots, none of them on target. Uh, forgettable nights, Jeff. Yeah, I've already forgotten it. It was that bad. Really, <laughs> really poor. What happened? What have we been doing? Oh. Who's the, who are you? <laughs> <laughs> I Honestly, yeah, it's, it's a weird one after the last two. Gave us encouragement last couple of games but yeah don't get me wrong 17 shots zero on target that's not the, the management's fault you know what I mean we got it we had a bit of barn door but we made it difficult for ourselves because we conceded two stupid goals um, saying at half time all the fans everyone could see what West Brom were going to do you see the line up you see Andy Carroll up top you know he's, you know what he's going to do he's going to hang off Smith a little bit um, I thought Nat Phillips got drawn in every single time had a shocker against him so he just hung on Nat Phillips waiting for him to attack the ball sat off him give him a little nudge and it was easy. And uh, yeah, we conceded two silly goals and then it's quite easy for them to deal with crosses and all that stuff. And subs didn't impact the game. No one had a good game, let's be honest. There's, there's not one player that, that played well, in my opinion. Um, they deserve the win and we just... I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. I don't get a lot of it when you see how we played in the last few. But um, yeah, we just got to hopefully beat Sheffield and then we'll forget about this one, mate. But uh, really disappointing night. We didn't, no. we didn't have a lot of zip, and I, I think a lot of the, the lot of the passing was sideways and backwards. That familiar you, but there was not enough going through the central midfield. I, I didn't think Lewis and, and Jeff had great games, and you know we we need them to function. Billing didn't get on the ball. Solanke didn't get on the ball at all in the first half, and it and it just played into their hands. I, th- I think we psychologically we get um, we take too long to get back from conceding. You know, we, the heads weren't right tonight for whatever reason. Mr. Uh, an experienced centre half like Cahill, who knows what Andy Carroll's all about. I think we were frightened of him, and it showed. One of these performances where we almost just decided we could turn up and play. Yeah, absolutely. It, it felt like that. We've seen a number of those throughout the season. I'm sure um, the players will learn from that and will um, be taught that they must follow the process. And you know, we'll probably come out and and be different against Sheffield United. I'll tell you what, Sheffield United. Will feel like and that yeah. might actually help us because it will give us a, a more open game. Yeah, that's, that's the only hope is they'll come out. Um, I mean, if they do their own work, they'll see how we how we play tonight against these sort of teams and struggle. But I think they'll probably have a go and, and that could that could help us, as Jeff says, on the break. But yeah, I don't really get it. We talk a lot about the, the perfect goal where we had 17 shots, zero on target. So I don't know how perfect we need it to be because their two goals didn't need to be perfect, did they? They were just straight balls. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It was, yeah. You know, it's just it's just easy. It's uh, yeah, not rocket science sometimes. But yeah, uh, as we say, none of them none of them perform very well. I find it odd. You know, Lewis Cook did have a good game. Like I say, I don't forget anyone had a good game. But how could he be the best player on the pitch for two games and then get dragged off when we need to get back into it? I don't really get it. I feel like Philip Billing must have nudes of Scott Parker because I don't know how the man never gets taken off. I don't get it. I don't get it. He, he, it doesn't matter how he plays. The quickest I saw him run tonight was when there was a bit of a scuffle and he ran over to get involved and I think he ran quickly once to get the ball. But I mean, I don't know what he does. We had so many chances. Over the, I don't know how many we had over the bar tonight. Jesus. But yeah, um, they're not very good, but equally... They, they deserve to win so I'm not having any stick up it's more that they didn't need to be that good to beat us I didn't think and that's a worry but I said that we're, as we keep saying we're in such a healthy position um, you know with, with the chase of pack being so inconsistent we're in such a healthy position that we can always afford to have little blips as long as we react so if we react on Saturday mate we'll forget about this one quite quickly I didn't want to sound negative but I chat to you I can't remember if I said this on camera or maybe off air in the pub and <sighs> It's easy for me to say now, but I did say this, that I want to see a number of consecutive performances, i.e. three or more, before I can go sort of, you know, cock a hoop at this reinvigorated side. For two games, we were brilliant, but um, we've always got signs and chances of, of playing like we do. I don't know if it's a mentality thing or what, but... My has gone. And is that gone? I mean, <laughs> does that just sum it up or what? No, that just sums it up. No, it but sum it up. I mean, look, what is it? it mentality, is a, tactics? It, it definitely is a mentality thing. Look, that tonight, um, we needed leadership from the back, and I don't think we got it. I, oh, Lloyd Kelly is a talented player, but if his game is slightly off and it was off tonight, you know, he gave the ball away several times trying to play out from the back, which invited pressure, and if he's not on it, well, you know, where where is that leadership really from? And I don't think a lone player like Nat Phillips can provide that. We we could do with a um, Steve Cook like centre half, really. He's know? coming for us. Um, 
I think no, I agree with Jeff. Like, and I think also an issue tonight is you, you've got certain players that are always consistent. I would say Jefferson Lamb is always consistent. I'd say Adam Smith's always consistent. Jordan Zamora, and I didn't think any of them were good tonight. So that says a yeah. lot. I think when your players that never let you down ain't very good. One of Lerma's weaker games in a ball with shirt, to be honest. So that doesn't help things. But as you say, Sam, I know you can't carry away. And I'm telling everyone we're up. I'll tell everyone we're up. But I'm telling you that that is not on what I'm seeing from us. Yeah. I, I keep saying it's more because I don't see a team behind us having a good enough run. I don't see Forrest winning every game. They're always going to be bumped in the road but that that performance indicates that it's 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 really going to be a bumpy ride and yeah. we'll we'll just maybe get over the line but in many ways it's probably right that's the way we do it because if we close the gap to on Fulham to say two points or whatever that would be ridiculous because they've yeah. been miles and miles better than us they're, they're a proper team mate. they're a proper team proper team they've got away to the borough tonight 1-1 one, one deal just got a job done their goal difference is ridiculous as well but they, they, it would have been it would have been a travesty if we were anywhere oh close absolutely to and they and they spank teams and we keep saying it's their goal difference but when they need to as proven tonight, they go to Borough and win one nil. They yeah. can shut up shop. They can they can do it differently. They can win games differently. And yeah, they're a proper side. But um, yeah, we a, as you say, these sort of games there's always going to be bumps in the road. But I don't know if it's reaction. It'll be interesting when we kind of talk again on on air. That is it just reaction? I feel like that was our worst performance. I feel like yeah. I, I don't remember thinking. We've, I've been frustrated, especially when you don't pick up points against teams right at the bottom. Your Peterborough and stuff like that. But I feel like that was just awful tonight, especially yeah. the first half. We have that in us. You know, this is a, a side that is, it's inconsistency is consistent. That is the thing about this team. And we've said it for a couple of seasons. The same group yeah. of players, you know, we can turn up and be brilliant. We can turn up and put in a performance like that. And we're sort of used to that. It's frustrating. But equally, we can go to Sheffield and we can get three points. And no one have, would be surprised. No result would shock me at the weekend. That's, yeah. that's, that's the thing with this team. And I think last season we had... Last season, Dad Juba, who got the better like the Champions League. Uh, credit to him. But um, Dad Juba pulled us out of a lot of trouble last season. And our goalkeeper, Begovic. And this season, Dom Solanke's pulled us out of a lot of trouble. And our goalkeeper, Travers. There hasn't been too much difference, in my opinion. Apart from the fact that the uh, teams around us are not quite as good. Um, people keep telling me that we've got more points than we had when we went up. We're not getting 90 points. No, no. I will tell, we are not getting 90 points. No. So forget this rubbish about we've got more at this stage. Yeah, we might do. We ain't getting 90. No. So forget that. But will we have enough to go up? I think we probably will. It's been a shocking evening all round. I forgot my cable for the vlogging camera, so that packed up halfway through. I haven't got my mic muffler, so I've been holding the mic a bit weird to, to protect it from the wind. And look, let's just get some closing words from Steve Hensman. Yeah, oh, here he he's, is. He's going to yeah. hopefully he's lost bring, bed. Just the voice of reason. <laughs> bring, some, bring some joy. He's always on call, isn't he? How are you, Steve? I mean, uh, Dejected a little bit, you know. A little the, bit. A little bit. You know, I think it's just that you, you guys that makes oh, it no, takes the no, edge no, off no, of the dejection. Yeah. Uh, no, not a good performance at all. No. Um, from minute one, really. Well, I thought the first couple of minutes we had a little bit of joy and then quickly turned, and we were never really in the game after that. Uh, West Brom came and did what I thought they'd do: attack us, but get balls down the line, get them into the box. Andy Carroll try and dominate us which he did pretty much all game I mean we knew that was going to happen from 7 o'clock when the team's were. <sighs> we did and I said this as I would play him if I was Steve Bruce oh, I would play him because yeah. um, historically we've, we've always had a bit of an Achilles heel there and it showed tonight second goal is it's, it's just schoolboy stuff it's you know Nat Phillips doesn't deal with a long ball over the top gets himself an all model and again Carroll dominates him after that the second half it it was almost it was almost a comedy show. Uh, don't really know what Scott Parker was trying to do. He was rolling the dice left, right, and centre, bringing on players, putting them in all sorts of positions. I mean, we had Dembele up front on his own. It's Solanke in midfield. That then ended up with Nat Phillips, Nat Nat Phillips, Phillips, up, front. Nat Phillips up front. Nat Phillips up front. Back of his own. Uh, yeah, Lerma in defence on his own. I just didn't know what was going on, what he was trying, and it stank of desperation. Uh, it's disappointing because after we've seen such you know, two really good performances, um, we thought we'd turn a bit of a corner, but quite clearly there's still some issues there. And, and West Brom were there for the taking. And they were. Yeah, they yeah. were there for the taking. Tonight. They were. Not that uh, they weren't that great, but they yeah. just did a job on us, quite a simple job. Mm. Um, and that, that goes to show, in my view, Scott Parker's inadequacies as a manager. Mm. Just my personal opinion, but yeah. if you can't deal with that sort of stuff, and we've shown that time and time again throughout the season, that we can't deal with that sort of play. We should be able to. We've got quality enough to deal with that. And any manager of his soul should know how to 
have a plan against that. Well, one word each then to finish off with uh, how how you felt, mate. Please do not swear. You're going to do my Davina McCall, but uh, <laughs> go on. Um, ooh, one word. I try not to say parkable because it looks bad because we're second. Um, easy way out. Of that. I'll, I'll, I'll go with pathetic. Dave. Ooh, pathetic. Well, Jeff, I'll come to you next. Disappointing. Okay. Can I have two? Yeah, go on then. Oh, piss poor. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's got a hyphen in the middle. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, if you want to comment, of course, do so. We'll read everyone, and uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, a lot of people have got to say. Not least the Fulham fans who are going to be gorging. <laughs> on uh, what they've just witnessed tonight. Them winning and us losing. Not the chance.